Hey everyone, welcome back to Soko. This is just this massive Parabox world, and we are basically the New Game Plus section. We're going to be playing Flip Plus. So, this is an extension of Flip. So, we're in clones. We do that, we're in the other clone. Is there anything special about... Well, you can try to get to infinity, I guess, but... Hmm. Wait, how are we ever going to get past the clone? Um, that's a little impossible, maybe? What? I thought it was not possible to get past the clone. Huh. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Can we get one of these out or are we using like the stack trick or what is going on here? Oh, switching around doesn't do anything. Hmm. Like, are, are there like two worlds or something weird like that? It's like. Okay, now red's in red. This is not helping. Hmm. Nothing in Epsilon send one here and then like go send that to the other like what could possibly win here like maybe you put one of the flips in and and, and then try to do the weird extrusion trick hmm. or switch their order did that no it didn't work at all i'm trying to get it like a push that from a way to push to get it out i don't know how though like, there's a pseudo-extrusion trick that's really special in the Stack Plus video. Hmm. Wait, what the hell was that? That just worked? Very sus- very sus. What did I even do there? Was that like an eat? Wow, that's embarrassing that I didn't see that. What the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's so cursed. It's so cursed. Okay. Holy crap, that is cursed. So this is basically like, I am counted as inside the purple, which retains, even with them going out of it, this move, which means that this is actually putting the red underneath that, um, underneath that clone block. So then I can go through and win. That was really silly. Um, anyway, we have green stuff underneath there. What's going on? I don't think so. That's like a weird bug. Anyway, we might have to do the same here, although the flippiness is not the on the same spot. I'm not even sure how the flippiness actually impacts this, so I don't know. That's gonna be weird. So is it, is it not gonna work? Hmm. It doesn't work if the flip is gone. Hmm. I guess the flip makes it come in from the opposite direction. So anyway, we need to use that somehow. Hmm. Okay. But that's not really on the block yet. It's, it's very odd. I don't know if there's anything I can even do to get that off it, off that thing. Hmm. So how am I going to insert anything underneath that block? I can insert a red over, but that doesn't seem that good. Maybe the purple block itself can be infected by the using the clone. I can. Okay, but now the purple wants to get off the wall. I think I'm not sure how it's going to happen. This is just going to trap again. Um, trap the thing again. Hmm. Of course, I can try very cursed things like this. Now that is cursed. Um, but no, not that helpful. Okay, so I got the... I got the clone out of there, but now isn't there a red block in its place? Hmm. I managed very, very cursedly to get the... the purple out. But now there's like a red in its place or something. Hmm. Yes, okay, don't even ask. Don't even ask. This is what cursed things do to you. Okay. So that trick will probably use in every freaking level, huh? Hmm. Nope. Okay, so we need a block there and a target on the... A, tar <coughs> a target on the purple. Hmm. Well, I can just... I can set it up here. I don't know if it's like a mega cycle. I don't think it's gonna happen anyway, but... You get that on there. But then you would, like, want a block on something. It's not on anything, though. It really isn't. Hmm. That flippiness didn't work. I guess that's because, like, neither of these reds are actually in flip position. So I guess maybe this red block will need to uh, get flipped by using this flip clone. Hmm. I'm not sure I can do that easily, but okay, that kind of worked out, didn't it? Alright, so now do we do this, and then 
do that to get a, a block on top of, um, well, looks like it works. I just flipped the red block to create that flip situation, then we can go. All right. Now we gotta deal with this. Okay. Well, we're forced into this move where the red clone goes on top of that, so we might need to find a way to get it out. Hmm. But other than that, like, you need to avoid making epsilons, which is good, which is gonna happen when it's against the wall and it's you know trying to get. Um, basically, epsilon is entering a block infinitely many times, so that's just what happens. And we have these two. Hmm. So our goal is to get onto this target block here with that, like, and that requires separating these two blocks using something in here. This feels like a bad idea. Also. You know, vertical flip isn't a thing, so let's not. Hmm. So because this block seems stuck at the bottom, unless we do something like this, it's not coming off of the bottom side. I'm not sure if flipping these blocks is even going to help that much. I do try that, but is this even going to go up? All it seems to do is, like, be useless. Hmm. So I almost don't know, like, if we're doing it vertically. It seems like doing it vertically is kind of crappy. Or we try doing things horizontally, as in because this is stuck, um, this red block is stuck to the horizontals. So it's something like that where we try to maneuver it to the side. This seems wrong. It should be off to the other corner or whatever. Hmm. Okay, so we've done cursed things, um... <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, we still have the same structure of regular uh, room, um, a block in between, and then a flip block. Um, or the other way around, obviously, where the where this room <clears throat> this room could be the flip block, and the other one is not flipped. But yeah, we did that, and now um, the blocks have come apart. Which one is the one? Um, oh gosh, it's hard because, you know, since they're clones, one of them is always displaying the the one on the other side, but we have the blocks. It's just now, it might be the case that we need to do another thing. Okay, so that's the identities of them, right? Um, but the problem is, it feels, it seems like the, um, the purple clone has appeared on top of a red block, which means that we still basically have an issue with trying to get that uh, out of here. We need to get it out. Freaking Epsilon, oh my gosh. We need to get it out so we can stay on a red at the very end. And so that's just freaking Epsilon all the time. This is so confusing. Oh my gosh, even for me. Alright, let's put that through a flipper. Because 5 itself is not flipped. So if we put it through the flipper... Hmm. Isn't this useful? Oh my gosh. How did I lose my place? Nope. Jeez, this is ridiculous. It's completely impossible to understand the match, the machinations or whatever. Um, God. Okay, I, I undid a bunch and now we're here. See, there we go. <laughs> I told you this was going to be extremely cursed. This might be the most cursed episode and I thought Stack Plus was cursed enough. <laughs> So now we've got a mint-looking block. We're also in, playing as an empty block. So we could e eat that, if that's a good idea anyway. I can also I can separate these. I don't want the clone to be on top of me, though. Um, we still need something... Hmm. We still want to be, like, here and then push a block to that position. I don't know if there's a way to get that block out of here, though. Like, we want it off the wall, like something like here. Um, we've become flippy as well, which is, uh, more silliness. Um, I just wanted to get that block out of the way. Maybe it was not sustainable, though. Hmm. Like, I can move a block out of the way here. Like, the regular block out of the way, I guess. So now we've, we can, like, switch their positions. Don't we want that block inside it, though? Hmm. Okay, I guess I can move this here. This should probably not be taking this long for a, I don't know, tutorial level, but I don't know. Oh, it can do this! And then can I push it in? I can't because it's freaking flip, but whatever. Um, I don't know if I can do anything about that. I am myself a flip block. But now the issue is that because that is flipped, um, basically, like, the only way to push that in is here. 
see now. Oh, what? Whoa, okay. Okay, that's really cursed. I managed to accidentally solve it. But basically, like, I needed to do that. I couldn't, I seemingly couldn't push this because I got it stuck on my player button. But now, I can do this and do the flip trick again. Like, with, with, a, with like, being an empty block. And that freaking ate the block that was on there. So now I can just push this to and freaking win. Wow, this episode is cursed as hell. Um, alright. So, I'm playing as a block that also needs me to be on it. So I can only win like this, I think, where I'm on myself. I happen to be in the void, but yeah, now I'm on myself. I need, to, I need to get all these blocks out of here, though. One of them is a clone, which is going to be hard to get out of, off of it um, without, like, tricks or whatever. So I can do that and get that off the wall. I don't think this is getting off. It, I don't know, because... Hmm, I don't know if I can get myself off of that. I could do the... No, no, this setup, right? Hmm, that was very unproductive, because the flips are not in that, in that direction. Like, you actually got to wonder if putting a block in yourself to flip it is any good, but no, I don't think so. Hmm. Like, I feel like you're supposed to use the flip capabilities of this block, but I don't freaking know. There was a trick with using the player as, as their own possessable block, yeah. I don't know if it's that easy to do it here. There is this block, though. I, I'm just really not happy with having that block there because it feels like the position I actually want is for this to somehow get out and I don't know if it's possible to do that without getting something else trapped. There's something weird with like... Like that. Isn't that strange that a block gets pooped out when you're trying to finish? And I know that's because like there's some stuff with possession like... Um, well, not possession. Again, because I am playing as an empty block, this is just pseudo possession. But yeah. I don't know. I need to get that block off of there, but also because I can possess, I can just move blocks around if they get stuck like that one. So I don't know. Hmm. I want to get that off though. No. Interesting. Okay, look, look at that. So we are in position because uh, we are a possessable block. We got. Um, well, again, I keep calling it possessable, but it's not really possessed. Okay, it's an empty room with a block in it. I go in there so I can just move to this, uh, move into this room. And one of them is slipped, one of them is not. And then I push the, and I press left, and then get me, uh, get the clone inside me. So now I'm in, gr I'm in great shape because that block is where I want to teleport into. So now I get to get the clone in here. Nope. Hmm, that's wrong, isn't it? Okay, no, no. So we got all the blocks out. And then I can poop out a block. And I didn't win. Because it pooped out two, uh, two squares. I don't know how I'm going to fix that, okay? I'm going to do that? Hmm. Nope. Pressing left there doesn't do anything. Am I too flipped? Too fast, too flipped. There we go! You just skipped over. And yes, things don't make any sense today. Anyway. Next puzzle. We have the infinity out now. We are just a regular player, I think. Well, that seems a little forced. So, we can see all the blocks right now. All the blocks are visible. So, that seems forced up there. I'm not sure it is, but, well, it'd be kind of annoying if it was. Hmm. I don't know if we can find some setup. Usually, the trick here is like, okay, well, I guess now, because of what we did here... Hmm. There's an issue because now a clone is blocking the way to the exit. That's our only goal there, is to get there. Hmm. So obviously we need to, like, repair it. And perhaps the infinity block is useful there. Like, I don't know, you do something weird like this and... Hope to get it to the other side? Huh. Like, I'm just doing this because it's cursed to do so. Not that it might help. Also, if this works, it, it proves that random movement is enough to beat this curse section. Especially keeping track of everything is flippiness is going to be tough, isn't it? Hmm. Plus that beat, that thing being in there. We want to, like, even, almost get, get them in each other. 
to create infinity. I mean, infinity has to be made in the first place for that to be relevant. Hmm. Okay, so that can get the red out, but so what? Like... Hmm. Like, did that even help at all that red is out? Because we don't want this cycle to happen. Hmm. Or maybe we can try to push red out that way? I... Hmm. Or we can push this to the wall. But, well, pushing that to the wall seems like a huge bad idea. So, like, what goal should I try to go get at first? Like, just try to get purple infinity? Again, like, the infinity shows what is on the purple, so that's not actually red infinity, just, just in case you didn't get it. Um, I don't know. If you get the infinity here, that's really meaningless, huh? Alright. Well, it makes for a clickbait thumbnail, but that's about it. So, I could do that. And get the red out of there. And then, I don't know, push that to make infinity, which is interesting, right? Hmm. So what? what's the red for? Did you just, like, get it out? It's weird, like, I could just... Okay, so actually getting infinity there wasn't that hard? Hmm. Alright. That's cursed again. Just getting cursed everywhere, but... Yeah, hmm. That even, like, pushes that block out of there. Hmm. So I can move that out, but... Is there a goal? I can even flip that again, right? No, because both of these are flippy rooms, so therefore no nothing will flip for the red block. Hmm. Almost wish it wasn't so cramped at the bottom, but, you know, that's part of the challenge. Hmm. Whatever I do, I should expect infinity, right? Expect infinity to come up. But how do I maneuver the red in a good way? It is interesting I can just push this block out of here, I don't know. Hmm. What happens if I put the infinity through? Does it swap? Okay. I don't know if that's gonna help, but I did manage to swap their position. Hmm. Going in there does not help, does it? Yeah. Hmm. Like, this red doesn't help that much, does it? Like... No matter what, I can't get away with um, getting in there. Maybe red helps, maybe it doesn't, but yeah. You always hear about underneath, but have you ever heard anyone say anything is overneath? What's underneath anyway? Structure doesn't even work for it to go underneath anyway, I think. Hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. Did I try putting red overneath this? No, because freaking cycle, obviously. I don't know why I tried. Red is overneath, so you can, like, get in there. Yeah, I'm not sure how this uh, helps that much. Damn it. So, everything has been cramped as hell so far. So, it makes you wonder if the whole purpose of the infinity block is to get one of the blocks on, like... See that? It's, like... It's got one of the blocks unflipped, and that would be ordinarily good enough to win. Um, the problem is now, Infinity has been stuck to the corner, so it's really bad, and, like, I couldn't get the other thing off. Um, so... Hmm. I don't know if the, like, the red block is the thing that needs, uh, help or whatever. I'm not even sure why I got this red block in here in the first place, but yeah. Like, I just have no ability to get this out. Hmm. But I guess, where else will the infinity block go, huh? Hmm. That red, I believe, is there at the very end when I have regular... Um, when this block ceases to be un, um, flipped. <laughs> that red block is used, but... Okay, so the infinity is just there to get one of them not flipped. Um, I don't know if there's any other place for that infinity block to go. Sus. Hmm. Okay, I can get that out. Interesting, but now I'm pretty sure I can't get anywhere here, right? Mm. Put that in here. Okay, that just puts something on the infinity block. Oh no, we're in spaghetti land again. Other order, maybe. Even worse. Well, no, that doesn't work out because there was there's freaking no way for us to uh to get that infinity block out. Well, it's really because it's blocking our path to moving, to pushing stuff to the right. Huh. Hold on. 
I put it over here. Is that what we wanted? Can't the red get out now? Okay. Okay, this is something, right? One of them is unflipped. Okay, well, I... Hmm. That's... Oh, gosh. Now the red is flipped. This has gotten so ridiculous. Like, now red has been flipped for some ungodly reason. No. This is, this is useless. Again, it needs to happen where one of the blocks is flipped and the other one is not. At least, like, this is progress. What? Okay, I can, like, do this and put, take the infinity block out of here and make it flip. So now is, like, everything flipped now? Because this is ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, as if I needed that. Well, I mean, like, that's one, uh, that's one unflipped, so... Should I be happy? Gosh. Be like that. Literally the only problem is that like the the freaking red block is stuck. I mean, well, the infinity is causing the red block to get stuck. So the infinity is like anywhere else just wins. Okay, I've undid back here. Okay. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Like there should be a red like that. Maybe that can switch parity a little bit, but... Hmm. No. I don't think that Affinity Block is ever getting to the bottom at all. Nice, flippy. Nope. Hmm. How about this? And then I push to the right again. Uh, oh, shoot. What? Okay, no, that's got it underneath, right? No! Why did not Why did this not work? Oh my gosh. Seriously? I, I swear this is now under. This should be under now. Don't tell me the red's in the wrong place. Like, that's three. Hmm. How about here? That did not fix with anything. Nope. So do I just need a freaking non-flipped red or something? No. Great. Now, I've, I've done that infinity thing too many times, so... Hmm. I like how when you undo, the status of the puzzle is so hard to see that, like, you can basically not tell anymore what is going on. Like, as if it wasn't confusing. Well, it was definitely confusing, but... Have I created the worst series on YouTube? Holy crap. Like, this is created... Red Flip, maybe? Hmm. Isn't getting the red flip, like, interestingly good, or... Huh... Isn't it interesting that I got it flipped? Because literally the problem I had before is that it was not flipped. Um... I'm, or, like, it was flipped an extra time. So if I come in here and do the same process after the flip, shouldn't this work because the red is now unflipped? Please, it should work. Yes! Oh my gosh, that level was, um, uh, uh, quite ridiculous. <laughs> oh no. God damn it. Alright, anyway, next level. Ridiculous. Oh, of course it's Epsilon that appears next. Anyway, hopefully this should be faster. What is going on with- why do we have two clones? Is that it? Okay, okay, only one block type. No red blocks at all. That's just a clone. The game's gonna be so paranoid that this is like a block on top of another, but no. Everything is as it seems right now. So, want the Epsilon block out. But we don't want to create infinities, which can happen, well, infinities happen if the... Basically depends on the order, so this will cause Epsilon, but the other way around where the regular went into the clone will cause infinity. Okay. So, um, does that work? I mean, all I did was, like, do the, the pushing thing that we tried before, but I guess maybe there's still a clone on top of that block, and there's no regular, so... Huh. Okay, we got it off the off that wall, which is interesting. 
Currently, the state is that three has two on it. So it's actually the epsilon block that has something on it, huh? Oh, for yay, meta epsilon. And we're pushing against itself there. I wonder if flippiness is relevant here. Actually, the bottom one is flipped. And should I have prepared for more flippiness? Hmm. Well, uh, that's not helping right now, so... Huh. It's still, like, trying to get on itself, which does, which does not seem very good. Ow. Maybe Epsilon needs to be flipped? Not with Epsilon, like, in there, though. Like, a certain transition put, like, a block where it shouldn't have, like, it somehow managed to convert... Oh, no, don't do that. Um, Someone managed to put something in the infin... Uh, in front of the Epsilon block, I mean. Actually, it's very weird the 7 view doesn't show, like, it shows that 4 is an I. Which is weird because that is, like, Epsilon should be, like, E or something, but whatever. Anyway... I don't know how that happened. And also, the two in there is just showing, like, Meta Epsilon. So, like... Hmm. No, okay, that is what caused it? I see. That caused a mo mo motion there. Huh. I don't know if there's any way to fix that. Because that is definitely in the way all the time. Here? Okay, okay, okay. That looks way better than what we had before. Overlapping always is kind of crap. Okay. So, now we got the, all of these things out. What does that do for us? We got one flip, so we should have one unflipped. Hmm. So, like, here... Maybe get that off. We don't. We might not need it. And that gets Epsilon underneath. Yes! Okay, okay. There we go. That is the most cursed thing I have ever experienced. And I thought Stack Plus was the best. Anyway, the next is, like, player, or what? It, well, no, it's not, but... Anyway, the next will be some other more cursed thing. Goodbye.